This week we see yet another demonetization of the US dollar falling apart all thanks to the move made by the president of China and the president of Russia who have to play a very big role in all this demonetization of the US dollar falling apart. This move is not only having an impact to the US dollar but it is a crash to the West. So we're going to have a conversation about all this. So it is indeed important for you to get to know what is happening with the business around the world. But first we have to acknowledge here that something did happen in February of 2022 that really changed everything so at first they didn't want to make it in the front page as a big news do you know why because they did not want you to get to know the truth because they did not want to feel embarrassed by what they've been doing around the world but now we know that what happened that day it was something that had changed everything especially for the worst because the death of the US dollar it is something that the USA could not be able to handle so therefore they have to try everything by all means to make sure that no one find out about what had really happened in fact economists will make research for decades probably going to study at the university for many years in order for them to come up with this result the price of oil gold and many more minerals are moving from us dollar toward china and russia and many more asia countries and we all know when all this started happen on this day 2022 when escobar wrote this article it was a defining moment that pulled the trigger to destroy the us dollar that is when 300 billion us dollar in the russian foreign reserve bank was frozen by the western and this was all part of the plan we have been warning that this would happen and now it's unfolding largely as we predicted by NATO of course since 2014 by launching a pricing war in Ukraine to provoke Russia it protecting Donbas region for nine or ten years violating the main piece of agreement that they had with Russia and then when the pair would finally had enough when they get tired of people being killed they invade and when they invent, they call it as a military operation. Now NATO with President Biden says, yes, Putin has fell for our trap. We can now turn the whole world against him, freeze up all his assets. Today, I'm authorizing additional strong sanctions and new limitations on what can be exported to Russia. All this was for Russian people to get tired of Putin and throw him out. Mm -hmm. But how did all that work out for us as Africans? Again, their plan did not only fail, but it ended up having impact on themselves as they did plan for Russia. In fact, it is thanks to this plan that they had against Russia by freezing up all the assets of Russia that had really made many countries in the world to understand that at any time our money can be frozen by these same people. Quick side note, the European Union, they had admitted that they don't know the 300 billion US dollar where it is being frozen by the USA. So, they accept to froze it but they just don't know where the money is. Even though they don't know where this all assets as they are all these other countries they were like wait a second the u.s can just freeze all our assets and weaponize their currency on whoever they feel like oh yes they can they're the bullies in fact united states they're the biggest bully in the world with nearly 800 military bears worldwide with a currency that they use as their occasion a weapon through sanctions to get what they want to destabilize countries from the middle east to africa and everywhere around the world but what happened when it does not work anymore ha ah, that is the problem we're going to talk in fact this move they made against russia it is the upside of what other nations have thought of these sanctions that the usa with nato they had imposed on russia it had scared these big fancy countries around the world they were thinking whether to remain with the western or either they have to join the BRICS, which is composed of south africa brazil india russia and china so what usa did to russia had left many countries to be afraid to know it join BRICS in partnership but instead they prefer to remain with the US dollar because they were all afraid saying that if we try to disobey the Americans 
this is what's going to happen to us as well well that is right because the dollar shade the world daily reserve of 73 percent in 2001 55 percent in 2021 47 percent in 2022 but what made it even more interesting here is that last year the dollar lost its value by 10 times faster in two decades since 2001 this week argentina 10 against us dollar argentina will now start paying its bills of the importation from china in chinese currency yuan this deal was signed last year in Beijing. now it is on place economists analyze that the us dollar can decrease by 30 percent by the time when joe biden goes to eat general election next year in 2024 hmm. that is not seem to be a good news for him and if you are wondering how was the united states of america managed to bully the entire world by using the usa is the world reserve currency for 50 decades well this video explain it perfectly at which he won 14 gold medals well the u.s dollar have remained this strong for so many years because they know they'll use military forces they'll come into your country and destabilize your country we will come in and destabilize your currency organize a military coup normalize what is not normal so that is how they keep their power and they've been doing that for 50 good years here's the ultimate question we need to consider in the west how long can the united states and the western country continue this financial trade usa has no commodity but they are sitting on them let me explain you something these people they have nothing when it comes to the natural resource yet they get to command everything around the world europe is not producing nothing of its natural gas the usa is producing no lithium no uranium no gold no diamond no any of these natural resources that africa we get to have yet they are the one who have to tell you what price you have to sell this gold and diamond still they have to tell you where to go and sell all these natural resources we are having in africa on the other end we have china russia brazil india and south africa as a BRICS country who have some of this natural resource and the west control the money see what they did so they did build their economy on the commodity and the sanctions that they get to impose on the countries around the world. This had made the United States to feel even more comfortable knowing that they have the situation under control. But now the chickens are coming back home to the roads. But here's the question. What happened when the West, they can't control the money anymore? What they have left with? Well, the military of course and that is when desperate people do desperate things this week we saw a joy drop moment for the first time ever we saw chinese yuan pass the us dollar and become the most powerful currency in chinese border transactions that means china managed to trade with its currency in the international border transactions from 430 billion in february to 510 billion in march this simply means to say that they have increased by 100 billion in one month only this reflects a huge move away from the us dollar because this is another way that china they have understand on how to promote even yuan currency because other countries they get to see that okay the future is right there when america imposed sanctions on moscow they thought it was over for russia isn't it over 70 percent of trade business between russia and china they either use yuan or ruble currency where is the us dollar because if these countries can manage to trade among themselves without the us dollar currency that means the us dollar have no role to play anymore and that will be the disappearing of the us dollar in the market last week russian foreign minister spoke in front of the united nation says that the demonetization of the us dollar cannot be stopped 
just look on what has been happening this week when they've been trying to put pressure on the countries that keep on supporting this demonetization uh, process. Ghana is working on a new policy. It is to buy oil products with gold rather than US dollar reserves. Now, the move is meant to tackle dwindling foreign currency reserves in the country. It's coupled with demand for dollars by oil importers. Now, it is weakening local currency. It's increasing living cost as well. Now, Ghana's cross international reserves they were at around 6.6 .6 billion dollar at the end of september 22. for some times now that the african leaders they have heard the voice of majority of africans who get to ask for one african currency many countries are saying in order to avoid this consequence of the imposition of the sanctions by the united states on the basis that you are using their currency in order to avoid the consequences of sanctions that arise from that, let's walk away from the dollar. When Russia trades with China, there's no reason why they must trade use dollars to exchange. None. And so that even India is saying the same thing. So globally, there's a discussion that is taking place to say we must find alternative means of trading among ourselves and not subject ourselves to the situation where there's one, there's one currency in the world which becomes a global reserve currency because it gives the country that is the issuer of the money that's the United States it gives it the power to impose its will on everybody because you are depending on it yet these African leaders they were afraid to do it because they were afraid of the sanctions which will come from the USA now that they get to see what is happening with China and Russia they start having more courage on how to turn their backs on the US dollar and try to encourage China yuan currency to take place around the world for example right now russia and china they've been trying to negotiate with african countries in order for them to start trading in the yuan currency russia and india they're trading oil in rubin russia and china they even create their own banking system which is well known as a sips that replace the swift of us dollar this will facilitate all these countries that are afraid of the usa sanctions to join yuan currency the west have been using the us dollar to sanction the world the business but what will happen if they decided to use it anymore and that is exactly what they are doing look china and france just signed their first gas the deal did them do it in dollar no nope. they did it in yuan currency in short the dollarization of the US dollar is the biggest challenge that the USA they are facing at the moment. It is not going to happen now. We're not going to sleep overnight and say that, okay, the US dollar is out. It's going to take as long as it can. But the truth here is that things are happening even more faster than we ever expected. When we look back three years ago, things are not the same as it used to be. Because if you get to see even now, everyone they get to understand that these people, their job is to bully other nations so everyone they get to wake up especially africans we get to understand that we don't need this kind of people now let us ask ourselves this question for how long will africa continent remain afraid to detach themselves from all this system of things that we get to see with the us dollar because this us dollar have destroyed a lot of uh, poor african countries and yet african leaders they are not able to do what is right in order for them to distance themselves from all this uh, open eye master so this question as we keep it in our mind at the end of this video we need to come up with a proper closure to understand what strategy that Africans, especially African leaders who get to present Africa around the world, what strategy they need to use in order for us to free ourselves from all these mafias. Guys, for so many times, every time when African uh, leaders, they decide to stand on their feet and try to defend the right of African child, they always try to find a way to bully them or to use them or try to m impress them on one way or another so that they'll feel like okay i think it is fine we can let go of what we wanted to do as africans and once you forgot about that the next morning you'll wake up you find yourself that you're still a slave 
the next day when you wake up you find that you don't have nothing good to do on your own as, a, 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 as an african we had so many of Pan africans leaders who tried to speak or to defend this beautiful continent and it is either they shut them off by killing them eliminating them in the process or either they have to try to buy them and that is the reason why we have so many african leaders they are so good when they don't have power they seem to be more interested when they are not sitting in the chair of the authority once they start testing the soup i mean the beef soup then you see you get that's when you get to understand how they'll start changing their language someone who used to be so good whenever they talk about something they start changing up their mind all because they have sold their soul they have been convinced by this open eye must so instead of them saving in advantage of their people they're now saving the open eye must that's the reason why you get to see that africa we're not going that far because every time we're trying to make a move we get stuck somewhere maybe we might have the intention to try to go forward but unfortunately we might end up finding ourselves with certain leaders whether it is our presidents whether it's our ministers who are being corrupted by all this open eye must so therefore it is something that it has kept africa for so long guys how many times in africa assembly where the uh, african leaders get to meet they had a discuss about uh, having one currency these things of africa having one currency it's something that many leaders have spoken about it Muhammad Gaddafi, that was his fight and that is even one of the reasons why they kill him because remember we're talking about a man who had the dream of making africa to be having their own satellite do you know that up today out of 54 countries that we have in africa we are having about 48 countries who's, who's still renting satellites just imagine satellite they're still renting it and when you are renting a satellite you know what happened they get to control every move you take they get to control what you do in your country's activity in other words they have the right to spy on you i'm gonna give you a very easy example to show you on how important these things they are look recently the united states of america they had to bring tiktok in the senate uh, meeting to question them because they had some informations which they end up realizing that tiktok they are busy uh, spying or collecting certain data from people's phones and from uh, ministers and um, america um, safety system they've been collecting data from there and that will give china more power over the united states of america because they'll get to have certain information that they're supposed not to be having and remember here we're talking about people who believe that them they have the right to spy on other nations as they're doing right now with many countries around the world including the president of ukraine whereby he gets to meet with china in secret without letting usa knowing that they have to meet with china the next morning usa they have to come and tell him on how they meet china where was it and what they did uh, what did them uh, spoke about then you ask yourself a question how did them even know about this because you did not uh, inform anyone about it all this because they've been spying on other people and they feel like no it is normal for them but they don't want to be spied so they had to bring tiktok and ask tiktok to remove some of uh, um its system or should i say uh, policies so that they should not have access to certain informations or certain data among americans but these are the people who are having satellite all over around the world besides having more than 800 military bases around around the world they have satellites where they get to control each and every government what you do who did you spoke to who are you dealing with who's selling you guns what are them for they get to know everything and Mohammed Gaddafi had that vision of trying to make Africa having their own satellite whereby even if you have to rent a satellite but rent it from another African country 
which has nothing to do with the western which has nothing to do with europeans but that dream was shot off the day when they eliminate Mohamed Gaddafi. The same Mohamed Gaddafi, Robert Mugabe, and so many more leaders, they had agreed on how to find a way to come up with an African currency. Where are we now? Because they did try to fought about it. And whenever they about to go ahead and start doing this, that's when you get to see Europeans such as uh, with the big countries such as uh, France and the British and the USA coming with a lot of sanctions, trying to straighten up Africans, making them to understand that without US dollar, without pounds, without US, uh, 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 euros, you're not going to survive. How's, how can you... Imagine that in our days, in 21st centuries, we're talking about more than 60 years uh, colonization that has been kicked out from Africa. Of course, I'm referring to physical uh, colonization, not physical, uh, not emotional or financial, because these people they pretend to leave Africa. That was only physical, but economically and financially, they did not leave because. You get to ask yourself a question, how possible is it that some of the African countries, they're still using up today the current money of colonization countries. Countries such as Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, Senegal, Chad, who else? There are so many of them, those French countries. They're still using France CFA. France CFA, which is a, Fran a, a money which was left by France because France is the one who used to, uh, to colonize all those countries. They left it there and they've been trading with it. They're still controlling it. That the one who get to, to print it, that the one who get to tell you how much they will print for you, how much they're going to give you, what, 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 what. And this country up today, they're still using this currency, though it does not even have a, 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 a proper value. But they're still believing in it. They're still trading with it. And you ask yourself a question to know, why they can't have their own currency if they don't want to have one currency as an as a African currency? Because as long as France still controlling the currency of these countries that I just mentioned, they're never going to have a proper freedom. And these are the same people who are trying by all means, whenever other African countries come with the idea of bringing out a one currency that concerns all Africans, they get to use these same car, uh, countries to tell them that no look if you have to abandon our money right now and go to your african currency money this is what's gonna happen you're gonna lose this you're gonna lose that your economy is gonna go down you know all those kind of things and that is how we end up even finding ourselves in the position whereby sadek they are now planning to have their own currency Sadek, we're talking about here South Africa, Zimbabwe, uh, Botswana, Namibia, Iswati, uh, Lesotho, DR, Congo, um, uh, Zambia, Tanzania. So all these countries, they're now thinking of coming with their own currency. Is that enough? I don't think so. Because Africa is not limited on with all uh, these countries that I just mentioned. Instead, Africa have 54 countries. Guys, come to think of it. If Africa can only get to be united, do you know that this world will bow down when it comes to Africa? They'll be afraid of Africans. It's not for nothing where they get to divide Africa. Where you get to see Sadek, it is a group of uh, uh, South of Africa. In the East of Africa, there is another uh, group there. I don't know how it calls. If, if you go to the Western of Africa, they have also another group over there. You know, 
and or if you go to other sites you see countries such as Chad, Burkina Faso, Senegal, uh, Ivory Coast, Gambia, Guinea, they also have their own organizations. They did not want to divide us for nothing. They want us to have all these different org uh, organizations so that they'll be able to succeed with, uh, when it comes to put their conflicts among Africans. So that whoever will come of the idea of uh, bringing out a uh, one uh, currency when, uh, to um, for African nations, these other organizations will be able to dispute it. They will be able to even say that no, us we are not in. They will be able to refuse to vote even for that kind of uh, of law. We need to open our eyes. We have people who get to motivate us time to time true africans who remain loyal who are not depending on any western leader or western country and if we can try to play this kind of a message i believe africa will do even much more better because when you get to say i gave you a very easy example usa on their own they don't have any natural resource whether it is petrol whether it is gas whether it is gold the diamond they don't have any of it but yet they are the ones who are giving comments around the world. They get to tell you where to go and sell. Who you have to go and sell your mineral. And what is the price. So all this is because they can, they can get to see that we are so naive. They can see that we don't listen. They can see that we are not taking ourselves serious. Guys, remember last year, President Biden invited african leaders to have a how do you call america africa summit something like that and when he invited these african leaders he did not have any agenda on his table in his office whereby to say that okay i'm inviting these african leaders this is what i'm going to discuss with them or this is what i have to discuss with one of them instead like always they, they always like to do they did disrespect African leaders. Because when Africa succeeds, the United States succeeds. Quite frankly, the whole world succeeds as well. How is it understandable that President Biden is inviting 50 African heads of state to the U.S. who will spend almost $50 million each and you he doesn't have five minutes to spend with each of them? These African leaders, spend, they spend about $15 million just for them to be there, like to, to take the airplane, to, to, to have their ministers, their cabinets, and go around booking up the hotel and everything. We're talking about 15 millions per each African leader. Yet they reach there, Biden could not even have a simple uh, moment, or even of five minutes, to discuss with these African leaders so that they can get to understand what is it all about. But as always, our leaders they enjoy disrespecting african people they were the first one to rush over there i asked myself a question why do we have to always go there why them they can't come here whenever they call you have to be the first one to jump and go all the way this happened last year when uh, uh, queen elizabeth passed on we saw how african leaders were embarrassed in that uh, funeral african leaders who walk in africa with all the pride showing themselves that they are the leaders that they, they are above the law with expensive uh, luxury uh, vehicles but when they went there in the uk they were all embarrassed and packed into one buses like chicken but all thanks because you pass your words you pass your message they heard us this time they ran away all of them i don't remember any african leader who have attended the coronation of a uh, king uh, Charles. i don't remember any one of them all of them they ran away because they end up realizing that no look our people are right to laugh at us because look the way they have treated us when joy bad uh, joe biden with other france uh, president and other ministers around the world 
they are coming there they give them luxury uh, vehicles to bring them to where the king was but african leaders they have to pack them all of them inside a bus so this time the uk the uk government they did the same thing to send invitation to all this worldwide uh, government so that they should come and attend to this uh, coronation go and check in the list of the guests and tell me how many african leaders you saw there none of them those who wanted to go there they end up sending their ministers their president of uh, parliament some representative who went there to represent them you know why because what we are saying here in this channel what you wrote through the comment your point of view count as well these people they get to watch us they get to listen to what we have to say and then your message went through so they ran away from that same embarrassment as they did last time it is about the time we get to understand that we don't need to be afraid of these people if it is about the us dollar with their sanctions as they get to use the uh, us dollar as their, their possible way to impose sanctions against nations well it is very simple let's do it as russia they put russia on sanction i mean they put sanction on russia they thought it was over for russia instead russia is still there they're surviving the war have not finished in ukraine now are you gonna tell me that russia who, there's someone who's uh, uh, uh sponsoring russia with uh, with weapons no instead they're still using their own stuff they're still living their life like normal and the more this continue the more strong a rush is gonna be because at the end of the day russia is gonna come there as a winner have listened to the president putin he was giving his message on the uh, victorious day and he had to tell people something very important that everyone need to hear about what is happening in ukraine and this is not something that putin is taking it more seriously uh, i mean is taking it more lightly anymore have a listen it is always quite the spectacle never a goose step out of place or a beret out of line but this was a slimmed down parade just 8,000 troops, a lot fewer than last year, and much less military kit. Because what Russia still has, it needs on the battlefield, and not on Red Square. Flanked by veterans, this is a moment the president enjoys. The memory of World War II is the patriotic glue he uses to hold his people together in a face of what he's long described as a marauding and decadent West. Their goal, and there's nothing new here, to achieve the disintegration and destruction of our country, to cross out the results of World War II, to finally break the system of global security and international law. There was a time when Western leaders would take part in all of this, but not anymore. This time just leaders from former Soviet republics, invited last minute and not quite prepared to relinquish old alliances. Some more dependent on Russia than others. So it is more obvious that Putin have understood that they have declared a war against Russia. Therefore, they have to do everything in their power to fight. What about us? Obviously, we need also to understand that if Russia managed to make it, then we can still manage to make it if we have to come out with our own currency. Because we have everything. They are the one who need our gold. They are the one who need our petrol. They are the one who need our diamond, all our uh, uh, mineral resources. They are the one who need it. So it's just a matter of them signing to what us we want and at the moment china have even made it more easy because china they've been working so hard to build their friendship with africa instead of america who get to impose their sanctions who get to feel like uh, normalizing things which are not unnormal as we get to see in uganda they get to impose on the Ugandan president that he should not sign for that uh, new law which the parliament had voted. 
a parliament had voted. Remember, parliament is the representative of a nation. Yet, someone sitting in the U uh, USA get to send a message to say that the president should not sign what the parliament have, uh, have uh, voted for. Because if they do, they should be ready to face the sanctions against Google and uh, MasterCard. Now tell me, for how long are we going to be remaining in this kind of situation where they have to be uh, uh, threatening us each and every time? Something you want to do on your own and someone has to come and tell you that, no, look, because I don't like it, so you don't have to do it. I hope this message it should be a message of a revolution to you. A message that should alert and wake your mind up. Because Africa, we need to be more independent. And that is how we get to enjoy our beautiful uh, continent. Thank you so much for watching this video up to now. I really do appreciate it. Before you leave, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I will really do appreciate that as well. And uh, I will take this moment to thank to everyone who always watch my video. Guys, I get to see all your comments. Uh, from different part of the world that you guys have been watching us. I see some people who are in America, some that are all over around the world. I can't mention all the, the places, but I'm so grateful because you guys, you show that you are really supporting us in every uh, details that we need your support. But uh, um, we encourage you again to keep on sharing our videos so that everyone can have a chance to get to... Uh, receive this message that we share on this channel about Africa and its beautiful continent. My name is Dobsin Nyembe. I'll see you again in our next video. But for now, continue to be yourself. Be good, be kind, have respect for everyone in order for you to be respected. May God bless you all. I'll see you again very soon in our next video. Ciao, ciao.